Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm actually going to be reviewing and doing a makeup look, a makeup tutorial on a brand new collection that has just launched with Makeup Revolution. So I was basically sent the whole collection, which includes, did I say it was Dr. Seuss? You will obviously know by the title. Before I get into this, I haven't a clue what Dr. Seuss is all about. I was just really interested in the collection. I didn't know whether it was films or books or a TV show. But basically Kylo was actually able to tell me that they're based on children's books or something. I don't know. <laughs> so I literally have no idea about the whole entire theme of this makeup collection. It just really interested me. <laughs> so I'm literally just here for the makeup and that's literally about it. But I did think that the makeup brushes were actually pretty sweet. It's literally just two face brushes, um, thing one and thing two. I think these are actually really, really cute. And then we also have three wee lip glosses in the collection as well. I really, really love the colors and the shades of these. And I think this one here is actually gonna like inspire the makeup look that I'm wanting to go for today. So I'm actually wanting to go for something orange so I can definitely use this on my lips, like an orange lip gloss. I love it and it's got like wee speckles of glitter through it as well and then we also have the eye crayon set so we have six shades in here and then we also have the face palette and eyeshadow palette collection so it does come with two palettes that are for the face kind of like bronze highlights blushes etc and then we have four eyeshadow palettes and that's obviously them stacked here so I'm kind of guessing that it kind of looks like books so the two face palettes are Horton Here's Who or Horton Here's a Who what? <laughs> I'm so confused. And then Fox and Socks. So obviously if you know all about Dr. Seuss, if you're a Dr. Seuss fan, this would make a lot of sense to you. Whereas I'm kind of like, what drugs are you on? But anyway, as I said, it's kind of like a bronze and highlight type palette. You'd maybe get away with using this as a wee bit of like a blush topper as well. This one is more like a pinky bronze. And then this one here is more of like a golden champagne bronze. Okay, the only one I actually know, the cat and hat. I think the only reason I know this as well because it was a film, wasn't it? So that's what it looks like there. It's just a mixture of mattes and shimmers. Next we have one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Oh, I said that quite quick actually. And it's, uh, is that mixture? Oh no. So this one here is all shimmers. So it's like an all nice wee shimmer palette. Oh, the places you'll go. This wee palette here. So I'm guessing these are all kids books. Yeah, no. <laughs> I might actually Google that. But yeah, it's obviously again, a mixture of mattes and shimmers. I really like this palette actually. I think it's really, really pretty. I love like the pastel shimmers and lastly we have green eggs and ham what, what, what type of lsd were these people on <laughs> but yeah that's actually a really really nice wee palette you know i love the greens and the mustardy orangey tones and everything love it so i think what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to kind of open all of these palettes in front of me and kind of see where I'm actually wanting to go. I kind of have a fair idea in my head what I'm wanting to do. I'm definitely wanting to incorporate orange into my eyes and maybe like an orange and a pop of colour somewhere. Like just using those two shades and colour, colours? Yeah, colours. <laughs> okay, so I'm first off gonna go in with green eggs, green ham. This kind of rusty orange shade. I'm gonna be taking this on my very dirty Buff and Blend 01 brush. And I'm first off gonna Focus this just in the outer corner first of all. Just kind of blending it up into the upper crease and brow bone and kind of like starting to blend it out as well at the outer corner. I'm now going to go into oh, the places you'll go and go into this shade here. And I'm just going to pop that just at the upper crease and brow bone. Wow! Okay, I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and just kind of like blend that a wee bit. That's a wee bit too intense. Just tapping off that excess. <laughs> Still going into this shade here. Do you know those shadows are actually blending so well? They're really nice, I pigment it as well. And then I'm gonna take a slightly smaller brush 
I'm gonna take my 04 to start with. My Often Blended Emma Fleming 04 and take this color. And just starting within the crease. I'm gonna pack that on. Just pack and blend as I go. So whenever there's very little product left on my 04, I'm gonna slightly blend it into these colors here. <laughs> and obviously do be careful with your blending because you don't want it to look muddy or go dirty or anything. But you still want it to, you know, kind of blend into it a wee bit. So that you don't have like just a big harsh line or anything where you've literally just stopped. <laughs> I'm gonna put a wee bit of that on my lid as well. Oh, where do we go from here? <laughs> I, I kind of feel like I'm stalling <laughs> because I, I don't know what to do next. <laughs> I really want to use some of these wee eye crayons as well. So I've took these two shades out here. So just the yellow one, I'm guessing. Oh yeah. So it's just like a nice yellow gold. I think it's maybe a wee bit too yellow for the look that I'm actually going for today. So let's see what this other one looks like. So it's the orangey, orangey red one. And yeah, it's a wee bit more bronze, a wee bit more copper. Yeah, that actually looks perfect actually. So I think I'm actually going to try this in my waterline, shall I? And I'm also going to drag that along the lower lash line as well. And I'm also going to put that on the lid. Slightly wing it out, the tiniest wee bit. I'll swatch it for you actually. So they're just like a really nice like metallic. Oh, that actually looks really, really beautiful. <laughs> yeah, they're just like a really nice metallic eye crayon. Do you know what I'm going to do actually? I'm going to swatch every single one of them for you. Hold on. I'm absolutely loving the grey. It's like a nice just pure steel grey. But that's them swatched. Like as you can see like they are quite nice and metallic. They're definitely pigmented. And they do seem to be like looking okay on the lid. And they seem to like blend okay and everything. Well we'll obviously see what it looks like whenever I put a shimmer on top of them. Like whenever they're on the lid. But yeah they look quite nice actually. I'm absolutely loving the, the grey one here. I'm still going to pop this one. Ah, oh, sugar, I screwed it up too high. Um, all over the lid. And I'm actually going to use this as a base for a shimmer. I think I'll go into the Cat in the Hat, this wee palette here, and take this shade. And I'm going to take this on my finger, first of all, and pat this on. So I'm just patting this on, going on like pattern motions and not swiping or anything like that, just pressing it on. Giving it a wee blend as I go along, kind of like with my fingers. Oh my goodness, that's actually so pretty. <laughs> nice. I kind of feel like I'm doing something really, really wrong, putting like a shimmer within my crease and like blending a shimmer out like a wing type situation <laughs> but I really like it actually. I think I'm also going to take the exact same palette, the Cat and Hat, and go into this purple shade. I'm not going to use my finger for this for some reason. <laughs> I'm going to take one of my 05 brushes, maybe a flat synthetic brush. I'm just going to press this just all over the lid to start with. So I'm just packing and pressing that on. And then we will eventually go in and blend everything. Tapping off that excess and also just kind of blending. Those two shades together but obviously not over blending. Just blending enough to the point where it just looks a wee bit more seamless. But we don't want to blend too much to the point where the two shades actually mix together and become like dirty. I'm gonna take my finger. Oh 
my nails are gonna be too long for this actually I'm going against so many rules here right now, but I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to go into this purple and then literally just blend in that shimmer just within my crease. Going back into this shade again and just doing a wee bit of pattern up the center. See, whenever you're actually trying to like mix two shades together and you're wanting to just mix them just enough. Use your finger because it's so much easier like you literally just want to go up and down and do a wee bit of swiping or pattern that way and then that way so you're bringing this shade over and then this shade over and then kind of just join in the middle <laughs> going on with that purple shade again just going to intensify that just on the lid and then i did notice there was a nice wee pastel purple yes in the oh the places you'll go palette this one here i'm going to take a wee bit of this going back into my zero one i'm going to give this a wee blend just up here do you know what? i'm absolutely obsessed with how that looks at the outer corner especially here i know it probably looks like crap <laughs> because yeah I don't know I'm gonna go back into this wee palette here and take this really nice like lilac shade and I'm just gonna place this wee shade just at the inner corner Do you know what? I'm actually so happy with how this eye look looks so far. I can't wait to now to get started on my base makeup. But I just wanted to mention that um, obviously guys, my eyebrow set are still available. This is obviously like two or three sets by the way. <laughs> and they're absolutely minging. I do apologise. I literally use these that much that I have to now clean them like twice a week. Maybe three times a week sometimes. For obviously my tutorials and stuff. But that's obviously my wee a brush set there they're absolutely beautiful i absolutely love them i'm still super super proud of them and i'm so happy that users are still loving them as well but honestly like anybody who's actually bought my brushes like thank you so so much like it really does mean so so much to me so it does and of course it's a bit dusty <laughs> and like that's the that's the packaging there that's what it is so yeah. Obviously, like any time I do my tutorials, my videos, it's always like the first link that's in the description box. So if you want to go and check them out, you can. And they do ship worldwide, by the way. I am such an idiot. I completely forgot about the face palettes and the brushes. But look how cute these brushes are now that you can see them out of the packaging. I think they're well cute, you know. <laughs> and it's not like me to like brushes that are colourful and like have a theme to them but they actually are quite cool actually um but yeah the face palettes shitsky um let me see i don't know if i want to use one of them now well i use a wee bit of one as a wee bit of like a topper shall we um this one will we use a wee bit of this oh we'll we use the brush If you're somebody that likes a bit of a shimmery bronzer and a shimmery blush and you just like a wee bit of a topper these would be quite nice i'm just not used to these types of products it doesn't really look that bad you know um yeah i'm just not really used to those types of products though um yeah still nice nonetheless We'll just do lips and kind of get that over and done with. So I'm going to take the Colourpop lip pencil in Brink. So because I think I just want to use this lip gloss, I'm going to colour my lips in a wee bit with this lip liner. And then for 
for lips, they obviously have three lip glosses. So there's this one here, Horton, here's a who. <laughs> That's actually really, really pretty. You know, it has like some glitters through it as well. It's really, really pretty. I see one. And then we have more of like a pinky one. That's actually quite nice as well, you know. It just looks like, sorry, it keeps on focusing on my face. Can you not? There we go. It's really pretty as well, but definitely I love this one the most. I just think it's really different actually. You know, see with like most lip glosses, it's like you wouldn't really see the colour come through on them, but you can actually see like the payoff of the orange. For the Lord Lash Line, I'm going to get my wee palettes out again, and I'm going to go into Green Eggs and Ham. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to go into this shade here first of all, this is the first shade that we took. And I'm going to bring that right into the inner corner as well. I kind of want to put a shimmer on the inner corner, like especially on the lower lash line. So I'm going to go and have a wee nose through the palettes. I definitely don't want to enter just blue or green or... Mm. This is the Cat in the Hat. Or will we just be really boring and put purple on the lower lash line? Like the shimmer along the lower lash line? <laughs> um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this one anyway. Literally just gonna put that in the inner corner. I'm not even gonna really drag it down onto the lower lash line or anything, but literally just along here. And then going back into this wee palette here and this shade. I'm just going to put this on top. And also right in at that inner corner. Oh yeah, that's really nice. But that comes to the end of the tutorial guys. Thanks all so, so much for watching. I love the sweet makeup look. I I really want to recreate it but go, go big and bold. Really, really big and bold. It's just a combination I don't think I've ever done before and I'm loving the colour combo. The, the pink, or not, the, like the, the purple and the orange, or like the orange and the copper gold or something. I don't know, I'm living. I think it's really, really nice, actually. I think the shimmer is kind of like causing a wee bit of like a shadow situation, but I think it still looks good. I really, really love how it actually has turned out and this week's collection is so, so nice. Definitely not something I would ever actually really go for, um, but it has really surprised me. I don't know, it's just something about this collection just really tickled my fancy, <laughs> and it was just like, I want that. I want that collection. <laughs> so the wee lip glosses were obviously a grand. They look great. Of course, this is the wee one that I used and it was lovely. These wee eye crayon set, again, these were also so, so good. They obviously glider really, really nicely on my eyes. And even whenever I was swatching them, they're really, really creamy, really, really nicely metallic. And yeah, I'll definitely be using these again at some stage in tutorials. And then the palettes. The palettes. We'll do face palettes first, shall we? But yeah. Obviously didn't try these too much because they're not really my thing. Like it didn't mess up my makeup or anything. It was just really nice wee topper for my my bronze and my blush. And then of course we have the four other wee palettes, which of course I tried to use as many colours and shades as I could. A mixture between mattes and shimmers. He's obviously seen like how nice the colours um actually blend out, especially the matte shades. I'm just gonna say it, the colour story was ta a tad strange in some of them, but I obviously think because of like the whole collection, the theme kind of goes, you know what I mean? But other than that guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.